Hi, everyone. My name is Catherine. And over the course of today, we're going to, know each, to get to know each other really well. And so like you, I'm also obsessed with happiness. And one of the projects I run is called Draw Happy, where I ask people from all over the world to draw what makes them happy. I will go into that a little bit um, deeper later today. But for now, I wanted to um, get to know what are the things um, that would allow people to engage in their happiness. And one of the things I realized in the course of this project was that people use their five senses to obtain um, these notions of happiness, such as sight, um, smell, hearing, touch, and taste. And so for the times that I'm going to be up here, we are going to be engaging in one or more of our senses. So one of the things that um, people that I love um, know about me is that I like to hug. I'm a hugger. I just can't help it. Every time I meet a friend, Mario, Sunny, I just launch myself and just engage them in a big um, hug. And in the course of my life, um, I have learned to adapt accordingly um, in terms of greeting people because I know that in every country, touch is viewed um, very differently. For example, in Manila, in the Philippines, where I was born and raised, we like to hug, and we hug a lot. In Barcelona, where I went to art school, we kissed on both cheeks. And that was very new to me because I thought only one cheek was enough, but apparently it wasn't. And in New York, where I'm currently finishing up my MFA at Interaction Design at the School of Visual Arts, um, we like to shake hands. <laughs> or we fist bump, which is also pretty cool. And so I was obsessed with the idea of our perception of touch. Um, touch is, ver is a very um, basic physiologic need. It's almost as basic as um, our need for food or water, and we need it to survive. When we hug or we cuddle, like shown here with a mom and her child, our bodies release a molecule called oxytocin, which we can't see, but then it's been shown to promote um, contentment and reduce anxiety. So one of the things I did as an experiment was that I obtained um, thermochromic fabric, which is fabric that will change color from purple to blue when you touch it. So at higher temperatures, it turns to blue, and then when you let it go, um, it turns back to purple. And I collaborated with a friend who's an excellent fashion designer who um, transformed it into a wearable thermochromic vest. And I've been using it to hug people to show the impressions that they've made. <laughs> and over time, this project has, explored, um, has evolved into a project known as Hug Prints. I've been trying to hug everyone in the world and getting visual evidence that I did it. <laughs> and so things I've discovered, people like to hug in different positions. So depending if I'm taller or shorter than the person, then their arms would kind of reach in different places. Um, I've also discovered that people have a wide variety of body temperatures. So some people are very cold, like vampires, um, but others are um, very warm. So for example, um, as, as an example of coldness, if you can see on the, on the right, it's the, instead of the fingers turning blue, it's actually the area surrounding the fingers that turn blue, which is very interesting for me. And some people are very warm, and they like to hug me in, for very long periods of time and just won't let go. Okay, so now I'm going to call um, three people from the audience to come up on stage and um, put their own hug prints on the vest that I'm going to be wearing. Anyone? This is a happiness conference, you guys. <laughs> yes, miss. Yes, and you, sir, in the back.
everyone in the audience to stand up and take out your sense kits, um, the red boxes that I'm sure you guys have. <laughs> okay, for those who have one, so take out the purple envelope. If you take out the card inside, you're going to be receiving hugging instructions, which I would recommend that you do to the person either sitting next to you or around you. You have to establish a nice, happy rapport with each other because we're going to be stuck with each other in this room for the entirety of the day. For those without one, I, for the speakers, since you guys are happiness experts in your own right, I would recommend you design your own hug and hug the person to your right. Where do you go? It's a happiness conference, so make it count. Some people got the group hug card. Okay, when you're all finished, I invite you all to sit down when you're done. But if you want to keep hugging, keep going. person hug, you guys. All right. So what just happened there? Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed it, because again, we're going to, sp to be spending the entire day together, so it would be nice if we all got to know each other a little bit better. So, um, Regina Sayers once quoted as saying that we need four hugs a day for survival eight a day for maintenance, and 12 hugs a day for growth. So at least for this first session of TEDx New Haven, you guys are all at least one hug closer to your hugging requirement. So I'll be running along for now, but I'll be back to engage you guys in more interactive um, things, and I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks very much.